she can't even she can't even walk. And she's either gonna desiccate or she's gonna tag everyone in the fucking room. And he's like, why is she Stefan doesn't seem to understand why she's having so much trouble. And Dana's like, well maybe if she wasn't throwing up everything you you, you tried to give her. And he doesn't seem Apparently, she did not tell Stefan that this was going on. He thought that she was having no problem feeding, you know. The first time she fed on that deer, when they got back to the house, he cut to open a bottle of champagne. Congratulations on your first feeding. I'm like, you are sick. <laughs> Honestly, you want her to celebrate the first time she feeds off of something? For real? Like, for real? You really are a ripper. Honest to God. Even Damon wouldn't celebrate that. Seriously. Uh, I forgot to say that when he brought her, when Dana brought her the dress in the church for to change clothes, he also brought her a bag of blood, which she drank, and proceeded to spit up not two seconds after she drank it. Uh, so that didn't agree with her either. She goes back into the, she went back into the church, and Stephen caught Damon outside trying to clean up all the mess. And there wasn't anything that he could say to get out of it. Stefan obviously saw it and he was like, why are you? Stefan was under this misconception that Damon is purposely trying to circumvent Stefan's attempts to get Elena to drink from animals. Because everything's about Stefan, right? The world revolves around Stefan. Uh, it's all about Stefan. And what Stefan wants and what Stefan feels is best because Stefan knows best. Stefan, 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 Stefan. No, Stefan, it's not about you. No, Stefan, he's not trying to circumvent your bullshit. He was trying to get her to feed because if she doesn't, she's going to die. Or not die, but desiccate or go crazy. Because he generally gives a shit about what she needs, not what he, not what he thinks is right or what he knows she needs. So they get into an argument and Damon lets the cat out of the bag that he had to feed her from himself. And Stefan's like, what? You fed her your blood? What? So, because yeah, it's so much more about Damon, Stefan, Elena, and the jealousy than it is about keeping Elena alive. Yeah, okay. I might seem a bit biased. I'm not, I'm not trying to be. I'm telling you what I saw myself. Regardless of Stelena or Delena, that doesn't even matter. The fact that Stefan was being a douche in this entire episode and a complete moron. Not that that's anything new. So, by the time that they get in there and after Elena tries to say her words but can't, and Stefan goes up and gets her major back down, he's already pissed off because you now she drank from Damon and he didn't. she didn't tell him what was really going on. But they realize they have to do something. If she doesn't feed, she's, she's going to desiccate or she's going to attack. So Matt, who's sitting next to her, says, feed off of me. Nice little segue. I was wondering when they were going to get to this, because in the books, it's actually Matt is the first person that she feeds off of. Matt is the one that helps her complete her, her transition. And I was wondering if they were actually going to do that. And they did. Very good. Uh, he says, he tells her to curl into his side and it will just look like he's trying to comfort her. And she's hesitant at first, but Stefan and Dan both say, no, just do it. So she feeds, which makes her feel instantly better. And she thanks him. And the look that crosses Damon's face when Matt even suggests it, it's almost like, I can't believe you, you actually said that. So in a kind of sort of way, it seems like Matt might have redeemed himself in Damon's eyes, quite possibly, by pretty much saving Elena's life, returning the favor, as it were. Oh, excuse me. So while this is going on, Tyler is saying his words, and then Tyler gets shot by the hunter. Damon's like, screw this, I'm going to go get him, and I'm going to kill him. So Damon 
Damon uh, disappears and goes after the hunter and everybody else starts running out of the church freaking out. Caroline runs up to Tyler along with Tyler's mother and Tyler's like, I'm going to kill that bastard. And his mother, you know, actually showing a moment of intelligence says to him, no, I'm going to call an ambulance. And he's like, I don't need it. I'm fine. No, listen, the entire town just saw you get shot in front of their faces. I've got to do this. So she has to keep up appearances. Smart move. So while they're in there dealing with that, Damon and Connor Jordan go head to head. And in actuality, Connor Jordan knows his shit and manages to actually hold his own. He manages to escape, not before shooting Damon, which is kind of weird because if he's using the same bullets he used on Tyler, wouldn't Damon just die instantly? And I don't know, maybe he was using d different bullets, I'm not sure. But Stefan arrives and then. Mommy. Stefan uh, arrives and looks like he's about to help Damon up, and instead of helping up, he clocks him across the face. Mommy, Damon's like. Can I please have some food? Hold on. Name is like, what was that for? And Stefan's like, you know what that was for. Really? Stefan, are we are we gonna be childish? Are we gonna act like we're ten years old? For real. Cause this is so not the time to be jealous, Stefan. Honest to God, it's really not that important. You can deal with it later. You have bigger problems. Much, much bigger fucking problems. So Hunter gets away and the next time they see him he's in the bar nursing a drink. Well actually I think the scene was before I'm not sure where it was in the continuity of the, ep of the episode but uh, note that Matt and Jeremy are talking and Hunter's right there next to them nursing a drink and uh, <laughs> as they're about to walk away Jeremy turns and says, nice, nice, uh, nice, nice, nice ink, man. And you look nice. down and his, his arm has got tattoos. But when Matt looks back, there's no tattoos there. So apparently this tattoo or this arm sleeve is something that only Jeremy can see. I don't know if that's because it's a spiritual thing and it only exists in a spiritual realm or, or what. But Hunter gets this look on his face like, hmm, weird. Mommy! Can I please eat? A minute. I'm so hungry. Aiden! Alright, at the end of the episode, uh, they decide to have to light the paper lamps, because that was what their intention was. After the memorial, they were going to light paper lamps uh, to remember the people that have died. So all of them, Stefan, Elena, Caroline, Tyler, Matt, even Damon, Jeremy, they're all there, and uh, Stefan decides that he wants them to light these uh, paper lamps to remember those that they've lost. Vicki, Jenna, Alaric, Elena's parents, Pastor Young, Tyler's dad, Caroline's father, you know, everyone, everyone that they've lost. Bonnie's, Bonnie actually did show up for this one. Bonnie's grandmother, you know, Damon doesn't want to have anything to do with this teenager crap, so he walks away. But I think it's probably because it, he was hurting. And I, I know he doesn't act like a large loss affects him, but it does. A lot. He misses him painfully, painfully. Because a large is really the only friend that he had, the only person that he could talk to. Before this scene, I had to do the last scene in order, uh, because this the before scene to this is, like, for me, was big. And if I had any respect for Stefan at all, I lost it in that scene. Like, like that. Like, gone. The two of them, all, Elaine and Stefan, are talking about what happened, and he's pissed off. And he's like... Why the hell didn't you tell me that you were having problems feeding and that you were vomiting up all the blood I could have helped you, blah, blah, blah. Why the hell did you feed off of Damon? 
you, you have no idea how intimate that is for vampires, and you know that Damon probably got off on it, blah, 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 blah. He's berating her like she's a child. Like, this whole thing is her fault, and she's a total fuck-up. And I'm looking at him like, what the hell is wrong with you? She's been a vampire for, like, a couple of days at most. She's suffering. She's, honest to God, starving. Suffering. And he acts like, well, you're a complete screw-up. I'm like, what the hell? Really? Really? So, worse, worse yet, worse yet is that Elena, I'm like, where the hell did the Elena that I remember go? That Elena that Damon taught to shove a steak up his fucking gut. Where did that Elena go? Because now she's turned into this, oh, I'm so sorry, Stefan. I, I, I didn't mean to make you angry, Stefan. Please, please don't be angry with me. I, I didn't know what to do. I was so hungry. I, I'm sorry I, that I couldn't live up to your expectations. What the hell? What's wrong with you, woman? You're almost so starting to sound like you're emotionally abused. This is horrible. I feel like she's. She feels like she has to be exactly what Stefan wants. She's gotta be this perfect vision of Stefan's vampire girlfriend and never make a mistake because, you know, she has to keep Stefan happy. Either that, or she feels like keeping Stefan happy is the only way to keep the sham of a relationship that they have still going. Oh my god, this has got to end. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is beyond both camps. This is Elena's well-being that we're talking about, and Stefan obviously doesn't care about that. If he did, he wouldn't be treating her like garbage. He would put aside his whole whatever with Damon and focus on the fact that she's having problems feeding and try to fix the issue, not berate her for what he thinks is a fuck-up, which is not even her fault. Ugh. I'm sorry that I'm getting angry, but he just completely pissed me off. By the time that this episode was was over, I, I was ready to skin Stefan alive. I was so angry. Uh, the very last scene is probably one of my favorites. Um, while they're at the lamp lighting, Damon was sitting at a large grave drinking a bottle of scotch and talking to him, and it was really, really nice. Because I, I think that's the way that Damon deals with his grief, you know. It's the only way that he can talk to him now. And what was even more awesome was that Matt Davis was there. Matt Davis made a cameo. He was sitting next to him as a Lara. I was like, hi, Matt. It was pretty awesome to see Matt. Uh, I hope that they do that a little bit more. I know he's currently filming another series for the, the WB, but, I mean, it'd be nice um, if he could do some more. Because obviously now that Damon can see, I mean, Damon, now that Jerry can see spirits, you know, it makes sense that he might pop up every now and again. And I think Damon needs that, you know, he needs that comfort to know that Lark is there and Lark is speaking of him and Lark misses him. So, uh, it was really nice to hear him talk about his feelings and about how you know, he was mad that, oh, now you've left me to sit here and look after the children. I can't believe you did this to me, but I miss you anyway. And Damon and Alara, because Damon walks away and says, I miss you too. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, so that's it for season four, episode two. The preview was intentionally uh, vague. I can't really describe it because it was that vague. Um, I'll have to wait until the more drawn out, like the longer previews come out. But anyway, see you next week for episode three, and we'll see where it goes from there. Hopefully Stefan decides to be less of a douchebag. All right, peace.